Now it is on. Okay, happy Sunday, everybody. This is a really quick video. I wanted to show you how you keep the hair after you do the process that I showed you in my last video. So what I do is I take these little, give me one second. These little clips, once again, your local beauty supply store, you get those. So after your day's over and ready for bed and everything, you just want to go back. Oh, it's a little, it follows the curly pattern. So I'm going to go here. Twirl it up like this. See, so you're going to leave that piece. Make sure the hair is going in its direction. It's natural direction, the way that you curled it. That's very important to maintain your curl pattern. So I twisted my finger up in there. You see that? And I'm going to take my thumb through it. Bring the curl inside. Make sure it's flat. I noticed on Instagram, it cuts my head off. So I try to make my camera higher. Hopefully this works. So you have that finger through there and there. Make sure it's laying flat inside before you apply this clip in there. And you apply it on the inside of the curl through the hole. Make sure it's flat. It takes time, you know, to kind of... It's a little tedious and annoying, but that's what you do. And I put my scarf on really... Um, loose, not too tight. It did smash it down, but that's fine. It's better than not doing anything after you've done all that work trying to curl your hair. And then just put your scarf on and take the pins out. You may want to go over it again with your hot curler just to kind of get rid of any dents from those pins or whatever. So that's what I did. This was my makeup from yesterday. I have not washed it off. Let me just tell y'all something. <laughs> I don't do my makeup every single day. Sometimes it can last me two days. As long as I clean under here, get the yampy out of there, clean my mouth, clean in here, I do not mess with this area again. You can wash your face without taking everything off. I don't. I'm sorry. Judge me. I don't care. It takes time. I have to be to work at 8 a.m. And I prep the night before for my makeup. And if it lasts two days, I'm super excited. As long as you clean in here, go around there. Yes, you can reapply your concealer under your eye. That takes no time. Your eyeliner takes no time. But these eyebrows, that is a silent killer. If you got to do that every single day, that is going to drive me crazy. And I'm going to be late for work. I'm sorry. And I want my eyebrows done. I'm now working in a nice office building. I want to look sharp, clean, everything. So that's what I do. You guys can do it every day if you want. You got the time to do it, do it. If I had the time, yes, I would. But I don't. You gotta cook, you gotta clean, you got a lot of stuff to do. So I try to save steps. But I will have to do this over because my lashes are starting to lift. Because I did these lashes in the car and I was rushing and I was going crazy. But remember when I said in my last video about the, the black line? As you can see, it's much thinner. I prefer it to be thinner. It looks nicer than to be a thicker black line. But I'm telling you, that's a silent killer as well. It's not easy to get that line. I'm telling you, I'm still learning. This is what I use to do the line. Let me let it focus in. It still hasn't. Jesus. Okay. Wet and Wild H2O proof. So let me tell you what that means without them saying it. Once you set that line, it's not coming off. You will have to start over. As you can see, this line is a little bit bigger because I tried to clean it up and I had to go a little bit thicker. And it's a little messy. I'm going to have to fix it over. I will have to do this over or whatever. My lashes are coming off. I need to do them over. But as I said, this stuff right here, once it's there, that's it. So you'll just have to fix whatever line you started. And a lot of times it becomes thicker, but I like it thinner. Okay. I have never tried this underneath my line here. I think I'm going to try it because what I noticed yesterday is when I use a regular eyeline pencil and I put my concealer on, sometimes the black rubs into it and then it's like a dark hue under here. So I'm going to actually try this under my eye and see how it works out. But I have learned to do your concealer first and then your eyeliner. Where I had said before, eyeliner, then concealer, no. Do your concealer, then your eyeliner. So you don't smear the, the eyeliner into the concealer. So after you do your eyeliner, then you can just go ahead back in with the beauty blender and blot out any, you know, fingerprints.